Oh, welcome guys. Welcome to the uh, range tour, really. Uh, that actually asked the question uh, from somebody and they asked about the range and where we shoot in Hawaii. Well, unfortunately, Hawaii doesn't really offer a public shooting range, really, that is legal. Um, there is one in Hilo side, which is on the other side of the island, but I heard it's shutting down, unfortunately. It's an indoor range, but uh, the old Batjack JW is very lucky and very fortunate. For many years, I've had this friend of mine that owns this beautiful land, and um, it is quite a stretch of land. It's got a lot of acreage on it. I'm able to come up here and be a cowboy and uh, wear my six gun and shoot my, uh, my guns, and I've been shooting my guns here for uh almost 10 years i could say uh just about 10 years been shooting my guns here and um this has been a good friend of mine and i've been very lucky to have him as a friend and very lucky to be able to come here and shoot so uh even long before youtube uh, this is where we've been shooting blowing up stuff for all these years um and when i started the youtube thing it was great that i could bring it to you guys and uh, do this the one thing that I like about it, um, well, obviously it's private, so I don't have to worry about uh, if there's going to be a crowd, safety, um, especially when we're doing these videos. I don't have to worry about what that guy down there is doing um, or what that person over there is doing. You know, I pretty much am the only guy here other than the camera operator. And we're blowing up stuff and uh, we got some rifle targets that we shoot from a distance all the way back to the far end is uh, 80 yards and I think we are getting to try to get it to get a little bit more than 80 yards but anyway um, I got this steel plate right here this is the one that I mostly shoot when you see this property uh, I got another place I shoot too we'll show that in another video but this is uh, the steel plate that I bought off of Sports Authority it's a um, it's it kind of just folds back. It's a man kind of a target silhouette. It's got a pitch here so the bullets deflect and of course it's got a spring so it bounces back. So that's kind of what we shoot and uh, check this out. We just got done with the uh, Lone Wolf Barrel from uh, Glock or that Glock of the, the Lone Wolf Barrel for a Glock 23 Gen 4. I've been running it. It's an Alpha Wolf Barrel and they were kind enough to uh, send along for a, a pretty good discount. And I shot that thing at 60 yards and hit it here and here three times out of five shots or so. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, showed the accuracy on that thing is great. Um, shoot a lot of bowling pins sometimes. <laughs> What's left of them? We had uh, blown them up quite a bit and front quite good. Shoot my 44 at these bowling pins. A little uh, big steel plate here that we shot some rifle at, and uh, it's kind of a manhole cover almost. Uh, um, here's the uh, galvanized pipe that we shoot at from a distance with the rifles just to see what different rifle rounds would do to it, a uh, rifle gone through. And in fact, I think it was, was it this one or was it this one? For those of you that have been with the channel for a while, um, we're shooting the M, the, the supposed green tip ammo, the 5.56 green tip ammo, shooting it at this stuff. Uh, this is the this is the steel uh, post that we shot at galvanized steel post or whatever it was. Um, one of these many holes are the five by six holes, <laughs> but um, yeah, that video was uh, quite a while ago. But this is where it all started right here on YouTube. My very first video on the tube was shot right here, and uh, it continued to be shot right here, videoed right here of my uh, Colt uh, World War I replica 1911. That was cool that we uh, we got that out and shot that. Uh, it was kind of a little bit of a, uh, a Hickok 45 kind of a, a play. I know uh, a lot of us shooting in the shooting community on YouTube, uh, we all know who good old Hickok is, the guy that kind of paved the way for a lot of us. Um, you know, so I, I paid a little homage to him in a couple of videos, but for the most part, I like to do my own thing. I like to just kind of roll with it. I'm kind of a, an old guy in a young guy's body, you could say. I kind of like a lot of old guns, although I appreciate Glocks and all that. I like them, and, you know, I appreciate the technology of them. But I have just something in me that just strives towards old revolvers, Smith & Wesson revolvers. I'm the kind of guy that goes to that gun shop and, and scans the things and says, okay, what am I looking for? Blued steel and wood. <laughs> So, 
Yeah, it's just this is kind of what happens. The cool thing about this target I'll show you here is you can see if I'll move it, you can see all the bullets. Look at all this. <laughs> the bullets hit this thing and then um, deflect down and it's drilling a hole in the plank of wood here. There's some big old slugs, man. That's a probably a 44, 45. These things are just flatten out like pancakes. I was hoping to see some of the uh, red, red jacketed polymer stuff that we've been shooting from Badman, but I don't see any of it here. That's kind of warm. I wonder if that was shot today. Maybe not. Kind of neat. That's what a bullet looks like. It's probably a nine millimeter. But yeah, it's kind of neat. We got a safety uh, berm right here. This is kind of the safe drop. Um, the bullets kind of hit through there and they, they go right into the ground. So, and the weeds still continue to grow. It's a little uh, brown out today or lately because we haven't been getting a whole heck of a lot of rain here. Um, that's good for video, but not so good for the landscape, I guess. <laughs> So, but yeah, this is kind of our, our shooting range and uh, it's not mine, but uh, it's a friend of mine that owns it and we got lucky to be able to do it again, like I said, but um, this is it. Our stomping grounds of shooting these videos, acting silly and um, producing bullet mayhem, I guess you could say. Let the lead fly. So anything we pretty much feel like we bring down here and shoot it up, we, we do so. <laughs> um, on the other note, <clears throat> I know some of you may have uh, saw in some of the other videos, um, we had a doggy that would come out with us. Um, his name is Frankie. Uh, he was a shooting dog. Um, some people have actually commented in my videos, they, they, you know, they say it so many seconds, dog, you know, and uh, it is true. Um, he would just pop out. But, you know, the thing about Frankie was he... Um, he would just come out and he wouldn't stay away. He loved shooting. That was his thing. He was a shooting dog. Come down here and that's it. I mean, we couldn't keep him away. One time we tied him up up, up the up the main house and uh, came down and shooting. He howled the whole time we were down here. So we were always worried about his ears. We always, we tried to actually fit a pair of hearing aids on him, at, um, hearing muffs, but he, he bushed them off and uh, <laughs> he just wouldn't do it. He wouldn't have any of that. But um, anyway, so he's been in a few videos. Um, in fact, you know, we uh, we miss him dearly because about three weeks ago he um, he disappeared. Uh, that's the thing. The dogs out here, we have a we have a few dogs out on the property, and they they live a life that's not on the chain. They get to roam around all these acres and have the the life that they deserve, freedom, freedom to go wherever. They mostly hang out by the house and. Um, Sometimes they go off on a little adventure in the backwoods, but they come back in a day or so. But unfortunately, about three weeks ago, Frankie disappeared, and um, he's gone. Um, we don't. We'd, we'd like to believe that maybe he'll come back, but uh, some. It's unfortunate, but you know what? He's probably gone, and uh, we miss him. But his life is in the videos. You can check him out on some of the videos that are here. He pops up here and there. Not sure exactly which videos he shows up in, but he's there. And it's kind of neat to have old Frankie there and in the videos and back when he was coming around with us. But um, yeah, coming out here and shooting and everything, I do miss him. I do miss the shooting dog Frankie. So, you know, he uh, disappeared and we just hope that maybe he found a better family that treats him better. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. But anyway, I'm Batjack JW. This is the shooting range. This is uh, one of the places I shoot. The other location we'll do on another video. We'll show you that. But uh, this is it. Not too bad. Outdoors. Um, we get to kind of just shoot whatever. You know what? Speaking of shooting, let's come on back over here. And because my steel plate has been barking some things, and how dare we have a six gun on our hip and not shoot it. Of course it's just wax from the Cowboy Fast Draw Association. <laughs> Those guys are great. Um, check them out. If you like wax bullets, that was it. They're just powder powered by the primer and you can do stuff like that. <laughs> the Cowboy Fast Draw Association. Anyway, signing off for now. Again, I'd like to thank uh, the people that help us out. 
Patrick at Batman Bullets for sending us all the reloading components that we need to make these videos happen for you guys. I'd like to thank Long Wolf Distributors for sending me along the Alpha Wolf Barrel for a decent price that uh, that I could afford. <laughs> but um, either way, after seeing the performance of the barrel, I would have paid full blown retail, no problem, because it's absolutely worth it. I thank Alpha Wolf for that. Uh, Long Wolf Distributors, their barrel is, in fact, if you ask me, it's too cheap. So. Anyway, uh, and of course, the Cowboy Fast Draw Association. I'm Batjack JW signing off for now. Like, share, and subscribe.